This is my front door and it's currently locked. I could unlock it using my keys, but instead I can also use this RFID ring and have it read by this IoT RFID reader. This video explains how the system is designed and how it works. In a previous video, I introduced this IoT lock which can be controlled by any device such as a smartphone or a tablet. However, having to take my smartphone out every time I want to enter my apartment would be just as inconvenient as using my keys. Instead of that, I figured I could use an RFID ring such as this one. Those can be purchased from AliExpress for less than $20. The model I purchased contains an EM4305 125kHz RFID chip. Those can be read by a corresponding reader module and its coil antenna such as this one, which is also available from AliExpress. To interface with the module, I use the Wemos D1 Mini Pro, which features an ESP8266 Wi-Fi microcontroller. Additionally, an OLED display and piezo buzzer have been added to provide feedback to the user. Those components fit together according to this schematic for which I designed a PCB layout. I then ordered the manufacturing of the PCB from JLC PCB and here's the result. For those interested, the schematic and PCB layout are available on Open Source Hardware Lab. Finally, I designed and 3D printed a few parts so that I could mount the system on my front door. Here is what the reader looks like when fully assembled. The ESP8266 runs a firmware written as an Arduino sketch. This firmware handles Wi-Fi, the RFID reader, MQTT, the display and the piezo buzzer. When powered on, the ESP8266 connects to Wi-Fi and MQTT. After that, it waits for an RFID tag such as the ring to be read. When a tag is detected, a specific memory address is accessed. If it contains correct data, an MQTT message is sent to the lock to unlock the door. Feedback is then provided to the user using the OLED display and the piezo buzzer. Locking the door is achieved in similar fashion by just reading the tag again. EM4305 RFID chips can be found not only in the shape of rings, but also more conventional key fobs or cards. This means that the IoT RFID reader can also be used with any of those. If the specific memory address of the tag contains incorrect data, the reader will simply reject it. Finally, the ESP8266 hosts a web server which can be accessed to see device details as well as update the firmware remotely. The source code of the firmware is open source and available on GitHub. Thanks to this system, I've never had to use my keys for more than a year now. For those interested in this project, details are available in the video description. Thanks so much for watching.